Cannon, if he, with this suit, like you were saying before, ends up doing the Luigi uh, victory pose real quick like he used to back in the day. As uh, the years have gone by, though, I don't know how Elegant's back is looking real quick. But when it comes to some of these matchups, now that we are starting already in game number one, a lot of bread and butters that we see from Falco into that back here that's going to be the key here in general. Damage output coming in nice already. Tilde has not gotten touched once until right now when you see Elegant making his way right back to the stage with the Cyclone. Yep, looking good. Oh. And, and that's what that's what Elegant is going to go for this entire game. Can I get it? Can I get a down throw and make you pay? Oh, nice tech by Tilde. Oh, what the up? Oh. semi spike. And Tilde's <laughs> off. What a way for the uppercut to get a KO. Elegant said, "It's okay. I don't need it. I don't need to touch him right now. It's okay because the moment I do, that's it. That's going to be the stop real quick. He's at eighty percent already." And it's so scary too, gets the scoop up with the up tilt. So they trying to shark underneath these battlefield platforms. Like the way that Elegant is slowing down his own gameplay though. He's got the lead. Why approach at this point too? Like we mentioned in that first set that we got to cover here. Ooh, oh what? wow! Actually getting that stock, sending him zooming all the way up. Especially against a player like Tilde. I like to call out on shift gears because Tilde has definitely been known to get frustrated when he gets camped. So if, if you're into the mental warfare uh, psyche side of things, oh, down B, nope, going to go for the back air instead, then why not, right? Slow things down, make them come to you, make them force their way in, and you'll likely get something, right? You'll get the down throw to down B, you'll get the up smash out of shield, whatever, whatever Elegant's looking for. Especially at this point in the bracket, oh, he waited. He thought he was going to actually end up going right through the platform again, but Tilde says, no, it's not going to happen this time around. Tries to get the follow-up on the Nair. Elegant immediately... Hitting right out of that, gets the Cyclone. He is gone over to the side here, 134. Tries to get that down tilt real quick. These Nairs have been really prevalent though, but the back throw immediately out of the plunger. I mean, you could say real, real quick here, Luigi, a man of many careers. Blackjack dealer and a plumber, come on. He's a man, uh, ghost hunter. Yeah, there you go. I mean, he, he's done it all. Wait, I thought he lost his jump off the laser, but it is a trump to a back air. Tilde keeping it dead even here. I I want someone to explain to me how that cyclone works. I every time I see it, I think I've got it, and then some, and then it beats some move, and I don't understand. I just respect why. it. I, I just yeah. literally respect it at that point too, especially with the amount of knockback that move has, and with the multi hits, it could be a little, it could be a little silly sometimes when it comes to actually trying to recover, especially since it's active for so long by the ledge. He gets the grab here. This is the scary part. There comes that cycle. Look how far up he went up. He was at 108, of course. But it's so deceiving. But you got those platforms to help you out. Looking at elegant side. But just the same way, it benefits Tilde to not only shark with these up tilts, with those uppers that we saw at the very start. So it really did benefit elegant more as he was the one that was utilizing it a lot easier. Yep, and the, the other thing too is that, you know, we've got when Tilde's gonna want the up tilts in general because then you get the build a bear combo right so you, you have you have to get some some way to get in there uh if luigi just stands on the ground it's pretty tough to up tilt him you're gonna pay you're gonna pay if you miss so uh tilde's like trying to weave in and out but like all looking has to kind of do is sit still and wait for tilde to, to mess up it's that grab that grab instilling fear in yourself here he tries to get the follow-up the downer into the grab again yeah that was almost a zero to death very close to it vicky that's why it's always so scary actually going for a recovery right on top of the stage right there. Maybe try to trip up Elegant thinking that he wanted to take center stage. Skept him by the ledge, but you get grabbed in the situation when you miss space that forward tilt. Yeah, and you saw Tilde. Luigi was so low on the stage. And Tilde's just like, no, nope, nope. <laughs> can't bother that. I hate that move. <laughs> I hate, I hate so the air. <laughs> because the aerial version of it hits you, and it's really annoying. And it makes the stupidest sound. Yeah, right? I'm just like, I, I, want, I don't want everyone <laughs> to hear that sound effect ever again. He's chasing his own ghost real quick. He's catching the ghost out of your own soul. In this case, it hits Falco here. He's going to be able to send him off to the side of the stage. Oh, I love that trade, though, with the downer into that from that misfire. Per perfectively, actually, putting himself in that space where he can try to get that. Ooh. Gets that side B, tries to get the follow-up. Nice side B. I, li I love that call because it kind of co covered both options. Wait a minute. Oh, there no. There's that zero to death that you were talking about. That touch of death. More like it. All right. Build-A-Bear combo is online. Could not get anything out of it, though. Luigi a little bit tougher to, c to combo in general. And and also has so many threatening things because Tilde has to be careful because he knows that first, first chance Elegant gets, he's going to press down B when, while the combo is going on and break it. Oh, here we go again. 
Is it going to overextend, knowing that Tilde was actually going to send up air? a little back? Oh, there is the up air. Yep, you called it immediately right there, Tantu, after getting that grab on that top platform. That was beautifully set up. Get the, this uh, drag back down to the top platform for, uh, and then go for that up throw up air. Just perfectly Again? executed. You oh. can't get it there, but he could have got a back air. He went for the double up air to keep the keep the combo going. 110 on Tilde, though. Nice trade there. At this he point, it, if, if the trade doesn't kill him, it's beneficial for Falco. That one hit of the plum, the plunger that I know you absolutely love. It'd be tricky sometimes, too. It could definitely get you if you don't have a hitbox on the top of your head there when you try to make your way back. Twinkle Toes, though, forced to recover from down below, perfectly allowing Elegant to get that fair. Oh, he How did he make the it back air? Air? No way! Oh, Mob Spaghetti times 10,000 on that one, Vicky. Oh, no. There's too much of a mess real quick to clean up with that. all that spaghetti on the floor real quick. You see Elegant actually catching a breath, understanding the situation. He was just that one. I mean, he was at 176, of all course. Right. That one, that, that up area is going to be able to take that game. But a lot closer there. Even though we saw that touch of death there from Elegant, you could see the way that Elegant's holding down his head real quick. Like, How did whoo! I miss that back air real quick? I got the fair, but I didn't get the back air. I thought the fair would have been a great finish. I loved that. I was like, oh, if he Slaps gets a kill with the fair, <laughs> but then uh, then it almost cost him. And he, he, he that was a sigh of relief there. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad that up air killed because I, <laughs> I was running out of ideas. But nonetheless, Tilde gets one more chance to turn this around. Not going to see any character changes in these two. That's pretty safe to say. Yeah, 100%. These two embody the spirit of their characters. That's such a good point there, too. Is that Elegant rocking two medals? All right, I see you, Elegant. Yeah, I believe... Gonna flex it real, real quick. I believe Elegant also was in the, the top cut of Wii U doubles. Nice. So... He's 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 having a, he's having a good day, well a good weekend. So let's see if that continues here. Two oh, that's that's a pretty good start to the top one twenty eight. What? Oh oh, wait a minute. Oh, he didn't get the spike on the down air. Reversing the situation though, that has allowed Elegant to make it back up to the stage and now to get this grab down air nair. Oh, not into the imagination that he may have wanted here. Till they seeing another stock, seeing another light of day. Trying to get the follow up with the back air. Nice parry into the up tilt. There it is again. He, uh, dragged out. Oh, but he waited this time around. Well played by wow. Tilt Day. He's, he said, All right, I know you realized that I was going to get you with that one in the last game. I'm going to make the adjustment. It makes the adjustment already. Like double co covered and then covers the air dodge with the forward smash. Tilt Day got with his first lead of the set here. That's the adapting and, and just the fact that Tilde is able to recognize that we were talking about before here. See, got grab coming in from Elegant again. Knowing that back air wa was going to come out from Tilde, though, he's going to be able to air dodge right through it. Wh what? Oh, it clipped him. He does it again. And this time it actually ended up hitting Elegant here. Wait, that gun was so good. Oh, all right, all right. You know, when Tilde starts playing like this, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like there's no planet that this should work ever. And he finds a way to connect everything together and make it make it work. And it's so fun to watch. It, it's insane. We're always on Battlefield here, too. But it, it's still he's like one of those players where you are down these two games. Beautiful tech helping out with that survivability as he gets that side beat. Wants to try to get those back here so that we can try to close out this stock before the Cyclone closes him out first. Yeah, that's, that Cyclone is pesky. There's the back air. That's probably going to do it. No. Just elegant, perfect DI. Just barely living it. No rage either in this side. Wow, what a tech here. DIing towards the stage just in case that spike was going to be able to come out in time. Gets it this time around, though. Going to have to go side beat to try to recover horizontally, but that's going to leave you stalling in the air, giving Tilde all the time in the world to react. And yeah, Tilde breathing a sigh of relief if that edge guard didn't go wrong because that could have been just as easily gone the other way. What a mash out by Elegant. Yep. Mash out of the grab. One, it was only one jab before they were out of it. One of the more impressive masters in the scene that I've seen. I know 8 Man's an insane master, but Elegant has to take the cake, honestly. I've seen the way he mashes, and oh, that downer now coming down. Trying to catch the jumps a little bit. You can see the backer coming in to call out another jump here from Elegant, but he makes his way back to that center stage. These downers from Tilt, they have been insane. I, w I was watching him earlier because he let Elegant mash out of the grab on purpose to put him in a bad position. I'm pretty sure he did that, which... which was next level brilliant. Oh, wow. Next level brilliant uh, off state. I wonder if he'll do it again. Back air, just enough to get it done. Two stock, okay. All right, you're back in it. Take a side, take, take a deep breath. You can, you can, he's, whoo. All right, I'm on the board. Got something. Now you've got two counter picks to deal with though, Vicky. That is very true. We've been seeing Battlefield all the way through. Are we gonna see a change up real quick? Like we mentioned before, we noticed 
both Luigi and Falco excel on a on a map like Battlefield here, but are we gonna see that change up perhaps? Still sticking to the same characters, like you said. These characters embody these players. Just the way that they work into it. Do you believe I saw Small Battlefield? Can I have to see? There it is. Yep. All right, Small Battlefield is. We're just going to take the top platform off of the stage we were on. No, no big deal. Uh, I, I think Elegant just likes this opportunity because it takes away for Tilde what he was doing, which was the up throws and then drag down into the top platform. He was doing that so, so often. Can't, that's now off the table. Yep. So, like, just statistically, just super strong counter pick right off the bat. Good on Elegant to be able to recognize that, especially since that's where a lot of that damage output was coming in from Tilde. I love that going right through the platform so that way he can extend way more of that damage. Trying to get that again. Parry into down tilt. The wait, though, he was looking for an opportunity to either go for a fair or if he recovers down low, he could go for a down air. But it, it's so risky to go off stage, Vicky. Oh, yeah. You, and Tilde has to be so, so calculated when he's going to try to do something off stage because Elegant will hit up B, down B, something that trades. And Tilde will be stuck out there maybe without a jump. It's a scary situation to see. He's just taking it a little bit safe. But calls the up smash. It gets. I think that was either a jump get up <laughs> that Elegant got caught by. Been getting caught a lot by that. You see Tilde's been covering jump by ledge quite frequently if it wasn't just with the up smash it was with those back air attempts you see the downers could also keep him in place keeping himself in shield no though is gonna get you no grabbed way. into the cyclone amazingly and he was playing patiently there on the on the platform because he wanted to try to find an opportunity to actually fast fall through that platform again maybe with another near like he's been doing often tried to cover tried to two frame the ledge with down tilt i do believe that works but uh, again you don't get a lot off of that especially against luigi at mid percent so uh, not, Perhaps something that you'll see him do later on to get a KO. Oh, he knew he was going to go on the other side. He gets that grab, the up air. Sees that he's been using his jump a little bit out of that. That's something that Elegant's going to note, though, when he's going to empty hop to try to chase after using these conversions. Slide up till into the back air. Yeah, and that only worked because he turned it around. It was perfectly <laughs> executed by, by Tilde. Nearly got the KO there, but 133 to 74. What is Tilde going to do to close this stock out? Going to have to get a little bit creative because there isn't a lot that will combo Luigi at this point. Look how hungry Elegant is for this grab. He wants to feast tonight. He wants oh. that down throw to down B. That, that is it. Not going to get it yet. Yeah, now, now it's offline as a KO option because there's no rage. So it could still connect, but I don't think it'll kill Tilde just yet. Such a good point here, too, with the way that Elegant is playing a little bit more narrow. In terms of what he's trying to go for, Tilde knows that here. 122% onto Tilde though, so he's playing this so safe. He's just going to be able to have those lasers, going to be able to help him out. Catches again, Elegant, jumping around in his space. Oh. And see, again, calculated. He's got, what, it, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this. He does uh! it again. He does it again. Yeah. He's breaking it down. Tilde says, hold on, stop it real quick. Yeah, he's just like, all right, fine. Like, if you want to just do this every time, then then we'll play. He's at the percent that would be able to take that stock, at least if the Cyclone does land right there. He catches the getup from the ledge. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, Vicky. It's true. It's true. You got to wave it like you don't care real quick, and Luigi has no problem doing that with the Cyclone. There it is. So, oh, Tilde is in a dangerous position here. This almost feels like uh, like uh, what, damaging yourself on purpose is Snake. <laughs> Uh, in Brawl so you don't get chain throwed by Falco. It's kind of position he's in. He, he'll stay up there until he gets a percent that Elegant can't kill him at. <laughs> Despite getting grabbed a few times overall, Tilde's been doing a good job using these platforms to his own advantage and not playing Elegant's game. There's three minutes on the clock. You got some of that extra time, but he knows Ooh. why would he want to overcome it? Look, the one time he decides to drop down to try to go for a backer, he manages to jump right back to the top platform and says, all right, hold on. Yeah, that could nice have been spacing. A, yeah, there oh, it is. Yep. And that could have been an up out of shield. That was set for Elegant if he just <laughs> reacted in time. I, I think he was facing the right direction, but it does not matter. Tilde evens it up 2-2. Two to two. Great start to the top 128 going to a game 5 already, Vicky. That down tilt spacing was amazing from Tilde at the very end to get that follow-up into the up air where he was able to chase him down. I thought about the same thing that you mentioned, though. That up could have been very scary, but it would have also put Elegant in a very vulnerable position, and there would have been all the time in the world for Tilde to fast fall right back onto the stage to try to get that punish and catch the landing, but 
Sofo here now. We got an even set on our hands here, Tant, and I'm super excited because this is just a second set that we get to cover. Yep, here we go. So Town and City, a nice appearance for this level. We don't, you know, I really don't see this level picked ever since uh, the new rule set was introduced. I don't see this level used as much. Uh, we, we pretty much just see like Pokemon Stadium, Small Battlefield, Battlefield, uh, and then like everything else is pretty fringe. So seeing Town City here, that's pretty fun, but uh, how is that going to play into the so Elegant's hands? Perhaps, you know, a little bit shorter of a ceiling here. Uh, that could also work in Tilde's favor. So we'll see. I, I don't see a, a strong statistical advantage either way here. Yeah, especially with those platforms gone now. Got that neutral stage instead. I love how he's just been dealing some of that extra damage with the lasers instead. He's not going to actually try to approach here until those platforms come right back in. He says, I know exactly what you want in this situation. I, oh, he is Crap, just jumping on top of it. The footstool, that's actually insane. Nice timing right there. Yeah, you know you know what's been the big decider? Oh, nice reverse up tilt again into the forward air. It's, it's really been that Tilde just isn't getting grabbed anymore. Yep. He's not getting grabbed anymore. Anytime you see him land, he's going to be right out of that range. Or, or, or he lands with something that can't be grabbed, like a forward air where it hits the ground. As Tilde gets the first stock here, and the crowd starts to come to life, they are rooting for their boy. Look at the way he's playing around the stage in general. Tries to get the drag down though, with the into the up tilt. Like you mentioned, has been avoiding a lot of those grabs that Elegant was getting earlier on in those first two games. But he's forced to actually deal with playing on this neutral stage until these platforms come right back in because you can already see that Elegant is essentially been chasing him down. He jukes him, says you think I'm gonna land here, but you thought. <laughs> it seems so easy to regard it, right? It's like, oh, this recovery sucks. But <laughs> every time he finds a sneaky way out of it, and and really, Elegant's gonna have to adjust the game plan, right, Vicky? If, if his game plan was, I'm gonna kill you oh. off a grab, that it's got to be something else because the grabs aren't working anymore. He's got to find it. It's a back air for the first stock, but he needs two more of those with 116% deficit, Vicky. And you know what he likes? He loves that Cyclone, so if those grabs aren't going to be working, the Cyclone by the ledge will definitely but at least try to scoop up Tilde. But Tilde knows that there too, which is why he dropped down from the ledge before losing out on that first stock. And he even tried to contest him with an up air right below the ledge. <gasps> oh, the Cyclone at answer back says, if you're going to try to shark me for an up air, I'm going to put some fear into you first. I thought, I thought yeah. maybe with that rage, just maybe that high up. But Tilde <laughs> uh, scoots out of there. <laughs> unscathed somehow, but uh, there's Elegant, uh, and slides it right off the ledge, perfectly executed by Elegant, so it could not be punished. Scoops him right back up with that Cyclone, being some of the extra damage. Elegant's picking up, though, that he wants to be able to resort to these platforms, so Elegant's just trying to meet him there with his tiny little legs, and the up air isn't going to be able to do it. Great DI at 161. You still have a little bit of that rage here from Tilde's side, being at 61%. Yeah, Tilde not risking it with 161. Uh, you know, you, you almost get, get him off the ledge with a back throw. Forward air, not enough to get the job done. Didn't get all of it. Uh oh, we got a little crazy, Vicky. Oh. It's going to cost him. Oh, it is. No, and it was exactly what you mentioned before, where he wasn't hanging out on the stage for the longest time, but immediately he evens this out. Last stock opportunity for both of these players in the very last game to see who proceeds through this bracket. And if I'm Tilde, I'm standing up there and letting him up air me. I don't care. Fine, up air me. Get me out of that that insta death percent so that I can get my my business oh. started. And here we go. Tilde's he he is on Wall Street. We're gonna try to take the last stock. 40% the build a bear combo ends there, and Elegant's turn to respond. Loves those grabs, Vicky. Absolutely. You saw him trying to go for it again. It was almost like, as if it was a recognition here from Tilde C. Alright, this is exactly what I remember that I've been trying to avoid here in the situation. Back to the lasers until those platforms come right back so that way Tilde has that insurance. But you got to worry about using these jumps around Elegant. He wants to get it. He beat. gets the grab. Oh, that down beat. Again. He gave him the down beat. Mm. It, 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 it's going to live it. He cannot mm. do it. Perfect DI, but it doesn't matter. Elegant is able to clutch it out in game number five. Didn't feel like it was going to go that way, though. At least for those first two games, we almost got a reverse 3-0 from Tilde, who was bringing things back. He changed up his game plan, got grabbed a lot less, but that last stock is what made it there for him. Those platforms, I believe, already scooted out of the way, so it wasn't like he had mo anywhere to really go. And this is the changing point of the match right here. He got a little bit extra and elegant, made him pay for it, and right there, boom. That was the decider, 100% deficit uh, erased, or, and that's that was all it took to even it up. Elegant able to clutch it out, finally. Finally, finally got the grab here at the end. 
It, that, that's all it took. It just took one. And that's why he was going for it so much. That's, that, that's kind of like what you have to look for when it comes to the flow of Luigi in general. In the case where Elegant understands that that is what Tilde has been avoiding the whole time, it's, it was difficult for Elegant to try to catch him when he was landing, even when he was resorting to going from platform to platform at each side of town and city. Mm -hmm. But that's the beauty of counter picks real quick there. Those platforms eventually do scoot away outside of the stage, and you're forced to interact, which is why Tilde's option there was to try to not interact and just use the lasers instead. And, and up until that point, his stage management was really good. He played that... He knew what he had to do to be successful on the stage, and I don't think the stage killed him. Just that, the getting just a little bit overzealous on stock two, that's, that's all she ripped. 